Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today we are reviewing another, we're reviewing a liqueur today. Uh, it's called Black Maker. And we thought it would be rather appropriate for this time of year, you know, being how close to Halloween we are. You know, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but for the month of October, we've been uh, making uh, Halloween forward cocktails. Mm -hmm. So, um, we thought, we ran up on this in the liquor store and thought it would actually be pretty interesting to take a look at and see if we can make a spooky cocktail out of it uh, in our next episode. But it's called Black Maker. Um, it's a root beer liqueur, which is new. I don't know new. how you do that, but... I mean, root beer exists. I'm sure you can make it into something that'll get you drunk. I mean... <laughs> sure. Um... I just like the story on the bottle. I'm just gonna put it like that. We'll, we'll get into the story in a minute. Can you give us any kind of information on this? It is made in a distillery in Lewistown, Maine. Mm -hmm. And I may have pronounced that wrong, but let me check, check my trusty telephone and see. Yep, Lewistown, Lewiston, Maine. Oh, Lewiston. Mm-hmm, okay. White Rock Distilleries, to be exact. Okay, so we got a, a liqueur coming all the way from Maine. Taking a look at it. Um. Okay, so this has a story, mm -hmm. and the story is in here. Okay, I'm gonna read this. When we read this in the store, it came off creepy as hell. So. I'm gonna read it and you guys be the judge of it. Black Maker is the name given to an odd man. A self-schooled herbalist of sorts. A dark and grumbly man of the woods. His days were spent tending his many herbs and botanicals on the slopes of the northern White Mountains. These herbs were often combined in experimental concoctions and sold at the local town market, which is where we came to get our hands on the best root beer extract there ever was. Sound creepy as hell, don't it? What, what kind of herbs? That, that, that's now, they made it so mysterious, but then they put the herbs right here. Yeah, so, so, you, ruined, so you ruined the, the mystery. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, we don't mind because I like knowing about that stuff. I mean, but, but it does get a little creepy. They, they, they brought, they brought the scary factor back. I'm mm. going to read because, because apparently this isn't done. These are the herbs that go into Black Maker. Wintergreen, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, ginger, sweet birch, anise, and here comes the rest, and some secret ingredients that we could tell you, but Black Maker wouldn't be happy. <laughs> Lightning strikes, thunder. And, and then the life go out and then people end up dead. Mm -hmm. So this is a spooky liqueur. <laughs> <laughs> Although not really because then they tell you it's made in Lewiston, Maine. <laughs> uh, what you say about fucking Maine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just hope it, it, it I hope it tastes good. I, 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 I don't understand why they, why they went creepy with it. There's nothing creepy. There's, there's nothing... I'm a creepy on the bottom. Yeah, as far like, as like the. They even they even drew this guy, and he's got this look like I'll kill everybody who drinks this. <laughs> or if you come up to to his farm where he tends his herbs in the woods, you won't come back. A dark and grumbly man of the woods. Why'd you have to say it like that? I I I I, I is hope this in North America or Maine <laughs> is in North America. 
Like, like, side note, Black Maker, I hope you guys see this and get back to us around Halloween. Please see this soon. Please yeah, see we're gonna moment. specifically tag you. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna specifically tag you. We need to know the story for, for why everything's gotta be scary. <laughs> <laughs> so, this does smell like root beer. Not even gonna Ooh. lie. Okay. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. that is That's root beer. That is. <laughs> Just that why root beer? Like that's just I mean, why why ask why at the why? Why anything? It's just the the fact that it's root beer is not the problem. Mm -hmm. The fact it's the fact that it's root beer and then the creepy story yeah. and like I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to shit myself when it comes to <laughs> exactly. when it when when I'm thinking about root beer. When I think like, of root beer, I think of root beer floats and like sock hops and Archie. It, yeah, or Archie it, exactly. And Jughead and stuff. But, but then that's the spooky part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you seen Riverdale? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's tap it and see. Ooh. It's root beer and then it turns into licorice and then it burns in the back of your throat. And then you get slight coffee notes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is pretty good. No, this is genuinely really good. How much alcohol by volume is this? I believe it was the front. 35% alcohol by volume, 70 proof. Yeah, now I say this too. <coughs> Outside of the root beer flavor, mm -hmm. which you have the anise and coffee flavors, mm -hmm. this is another, this just turns into another perfect fall, wintery, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mild to cold weather type of alcohol you would be drinking. Mm -hmm. Off the bat, Boozy root beer floats would would be a hit. Mm -hmm. That's like the easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see this. They have some recipes. The routine root beer martini. Mm -hmm. One part black water, one part pinnacle vodka. Mm -hmm. Why pinnacle? That's a good question. Uh, maybe pinnacle is from the same distillery. Mm -hmm. They have the cough remedy, one part black maker. One oh, part of black maker. <laughs> one part pinnacle cherry flavor vodka. It's, it's the it's the same. It's the first one, just a different vodka. Mm -hmm. Um. Because this makes this, into a shot glass best without ice. Tastes like the real remedy. Tastes like my quality. Root beer flow. One part black make a root beer. Mm -hmm. Look here. Mm -hmm. One part pinnacle vanilla flavored vodka. Mm -hmm. Two parts club soda. I get it. But I just pour the pinnacle. I just pour this into ice cream. Vanilla yeah. ice cream. Mm hmm. Third over anything going Actually, I just make a root beer float and just pour this into it, so that yeah. you can have the bite of root beer, but then also have the, the so boozy. you can have the fizz of the root beer, but also be it can be boozy. Yeah. And so if you're a person that's eating, drinking the root beer float, like 
all you're tasting is root beer but getting drunk but this does confirm what I felt when I drank this is that vanilla would be a, a very good matchup with this particular liquor cool. predictable but I mean sometimes predictable is just fine mm -hmm. I seriously like this I wouldn't drink it all the time you but this what? is great for the fall and winter. Mm -hmm. You know what irks me though? Mm -hmm. I used that that um hoodoo liqueur mm -hmm. in our last Halloween. Mm -hmm. well, and not the you. one before, but the one I did with uh what's the liquor? Oh, uh Cantera Negra. Mm -hmm. And now you want to use it with this. Yeah. But I'm going to resist that mm -hmm. that um, urge to do so. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like there's... I feel like I can do something better with this. I like how later, like, the aftertaste... Like, it gives you a warming sensation in your throat. Mm -hmm. that, I like that, too. Mm -hmm. this, this is really good. Mm -hmm. Damn, I was not expecting. I don't want to say I wasn't expecting much from this, but it it, it really outperformed in my opinion. I really want to buy some vanilla ice cream. I'm gonna tell you this too, mm -hmm. and this is probably gonna be a spoiler for like a future episode, mm -hmm. probably a couple of months in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, this and an eggnog will probably set that off. Ooh. And I don't mean just like, well, depending on how you want to do your eggnog, do you want to make your eggnog by scratch or do you want to buy a carton of eggnog and mix that in there? Mm -hmm. That could set that off. Ooh, you're not wrong. I didn't think about that, yeah. That mm -hmm. would be good in eggnog. So what do you what, score? Cause I'm going nine. Eight point five. Mm, okay. Yeah, I'm going straight nine. As someone who loves uh, root beer floats, this is this this bring this knocks that up a notch. I, I do not like root beer floats, so it only gets an eight point five. <laughs> that's not to say I don't like root beer. Mm -hmm. It's just that and or ice cream. It's just that I don't like those two combined. Mm -hmm. So, 8.5. Yeah, that, this, this was good. But I see the potential for this. It's one. It's another one of those liqueurs that covers specific angles mm -hmm. instead of a majority of the angles out there yeah. as far as uh, mixology is concerned. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe you need something that covers like two spots in the whole diagram of mixology that most other liquors don't cover or they don't cover it well enough. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely gonna have fun coming up with something that isn't derivative. Mm -hmm. Um, This will stretch my uh, brain power. As Cre far your, your creative muscles. Yeah, as far as, um, cause like, Usually, for those that don't know, usually when I want to make a recipe or something, I go to flavor guides. Mm -hmm. And whatever ingredients are involved in these liquors, I try to, you know, pull those ingredients and then match them up on flavor, um, on, on tasting note guides and flavor guides and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And that's where I come up with my recipe. I would, you know, and... So like a prime example, the one I did with the Cantera Negra, like I, that that's a personal that's a personal one that I like because I feel like for one thing, like I felt like that cocktail was a high risk, high reward type deal mm -hmm. because I didn't think those flavors would would match. Mm -hmm. Like I I just thought I put stuff together and was hoping for the best, <laughs> but like that. 
like go watch that episode, guy. That mm-hmm. was a to me that was a great drink. And if you watched it already, rewatch it. Exactly. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with this. I hope to recreate that sensation. Right. 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 Because now, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking. I don't know if it needs another liqueur, mm-hmm. but I do know a base spirit would help this along. Mm-hmm. I automatically jumped to rum. You were thinking rum too? Mm-hmm. Doing yeah, I was thinking rum. rum as well. I would even say if you were being I would even say, uh, um, also, I would do bourbon or whiskey. Um, and if you were being experimental, tequila. Yes to tequila, but that tequila would have to be a dark tequila. I wouldn't I would really? use yeah. I was thinking Blanco. I wouldn't use Blanco. Okay. Cause I feel like I feel like darker tequilas mm-hmm. would um have flavors that would go well with this. Mm-hmm. With this specifically. Hell I put it out there. That uh Cantera Negra Cafe I feel like would go good with this. There are coffee notes in this in this specific spirit. Mm-hmm. The Cantera Negra could pull that out of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, with that said, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Liquor, food, snacks, drinks, all of that stuff. Food and snacks are the same thing, Mm -hmm. but you know what I mean. You know what we like. You know what we want. Tell us about it. Hit us up in our DMs recipes all of that stuff mm-hmm. like we if it if if it can be consumed we would like to consume it so tell us about it that also goes for locations as well specifically currently because you know in case you didn't know we are going to las vegas uh next week actually mm-hmm. so i need all our las vegas followers and viewers to hit us up let us know where we need to go and check out in las vegas mm-hmm. we've got a list the list has gotten a little spicier we found some spots that we definitely want to check out exactly if you are a bartender in the los angeles area hit us up let us know if you're going to be bartending next weekend we want to come by we want you to we want you to 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 show us we that was spooky. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe we um, unearthed the ghost of Blackmaker. Yeah, but uh, we better calm down. <laughs> we want you to show us what you got. You know, make us your best cocktails, and that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. But until next time, everybody. Hey, hey, you peace. Stop it. I'm 